Hello everyone, this is Dallas Johnson with the Automobile Dealer Training Association and I want to take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to gain a Tennessee dealer's license. There's just a few simple sets of guidelines and rules that you need to meet and then you will be able to open a profitable dealership in Tennessee. Now you've got the opportunity to sell vehicles not only to all the six and a half million people that live in Tennessee, but the millions of other people that live throughout the United States uh, as well, because everybody needs a motor vehicle. But I do want to take you through those steps. Uh, the, a couple, a real quick overview of what you need to do. You need to complete a dealer application. You're going to need to have a place of business. You're going to need to send in some signs and photographs of your business. I'm going to show you here in just a little bit how to apply for a business tax license and your sales tax permits. So I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. You'll need to show a financial disclosure statement. I'm going to show you how to file corporational documents right on the Tennessee Secretary of State's website in a few moments. You'll also need to meet zoning compliance. So every single dealership that operates within the state of Tennessee will be required to meet all applicable zoning requirements. So I'm going to show you how you'll be able to do that here in a few moments as well. We're going to talk about service agreements, dealer insurance, and dealer bonds. Uh, first thing you need to do, to do pretty self-explanatory, you need to fill out the dealer application that you're going to see there. You need to make sure and fill this dealer application out completely. And uh, if you've got mistakes on the dealer application, you are certainly going to see a big holdup on your licensure process. So make sure you fill out the dealer application process, uh, dealer application in full and complete. That way you will get your dealer's license back as soon as you possibly can. One of the steps we're going to talk about right now on the screen in front of you here are your building and display lot requirements. The building that you have your Tennessee dealership operating out of must be for the dealership operation only. It cannot be a private residence. You're also going to need to have an office in this building with at least 288 square feet of space. So you'll have to have restrooms in the building. You're also going to need to have a display lot that has room for 15 vehicles uh, that you can sell plus three spaces for customer parking. So make sure your display lot has room for 15 vehicles that you're going to be selling and also three spaces for your customer parking. Now you're also going to need to have a sign uh, the sign must be permanent in nature and your business sign is going to have your have to have your dealership name in at least four larger letters that way you'll be compliant with Tennessee uh, state law that way you can get your dealer's license you can't have a sign with six inches high letters or four inches high letters the dealership name must be on the permanent business sign in eight inches or larger letters now Somewhere you're also going to have to display your hours of operation along with your phone number. And when you send in your application packet, when I talk about the application packet, it's just a great big envelope that you're mailing to Nashville that's going to have all the documents that we're talking about here in the next few minutes. Uh, that's going to be the dealer application packet. So when you're mailing in your dealer application packet, you also want to make sure that you have photographs of the display lot. You're going to need to have photographs of the inside and the outside of the office the business sign. You've got to show your business hours and the days that you're open along with the posted telephone number and a picture of your restroom. So they want to make sure they've got that as well. Now everyone on your hours of operation, the state of Tennessee requires that every dealership that's operating in the state of Tennessee must be open a minimum of three days per week. You're going to need to be open a minimum of 12 hours per week. Okay, so you got to be open at least three days per week, a minimum of 12 hours. Of those 12 hours, eight of those hours actually have to be between the hours of between Monday through Friday. So they have to be regular business hours. So you are required to be open once you do obtain your Tennessee dealer's license. The state of Tennessee is also going to require that you maintain a net worth of a minimum of $10,000 a year. This is very easy to do to uh, figure out your net worth. You're just going to need to add up your assets, subtract your liabilities. You will be required to maintain your net worth of at least $10,000 during your entire licensure year. Now here a little bit, I'm going to show you how to obtain a business sales tax, a business tax license. You must obtain your business tax license before you apply for your dealer's license. And you're going to be able to do this through your county clerk. The actual business license must match your dealer name exactly. So this is something that can be done there uh, through your local county clerk's office. So one thing also I want to make sure of uh, when you are obtaining your dealer's license, the state of 
Tennessee is going to require that you get a sales tax ID. Okay, and this is very simple. I'm going to show you how to do this here right online. But you're going to be required to obtain your sales tax license so you can uh, uh, charge sales tax. You're going to be able to do that. Have to do this before you apply for your uh, dealer's license, and it's going to be done right here, step by step. I'm going to show you. It's issued by the state of Tennessee. So if you log on that web link right there, then you're going to be able to start your application for the sales tax license. Uh, just click on register a business in Tennessee there like you see on your screen and just for uh, just for example I'm going to show you how to do it through a limited liability corporation that's always been the way that I've registered my businesses businesses but uh, you want to make sure that you're doing it that's going to be best for you so you definitely want to get some legal or some tax advice here because there are different legal and tax ramifications for how you decide to operate your dealership in Tennessee but for this example I'm showing you how to file as a limited liability corporation so you'll click that box there uh, we're going to be registering for a sales and use tax license because you're going to be charging sales and use tax so you'll click continue there it's going to walk you through a couple of other steps. On this page, they want to know if your gross sales will exceed $4,800 per year. Well, your average vehicle that you're selling is definitely going to be, you know, eight to ten thousand dollars. Maybe even if it's only three or four thousand dollars. So you can meet gross sales that exceed four thousand eight hundred dollars just with one, one sale on your lot. So you're probably going to be checking yes there. They will also want to know if your taxable services will exceed $1,200 a year. Well, if you're doing any types of repairs, then you certainly will exceed that. So uh, you would probably want to check yes there as well. Now, if you have suppliers that do not collect sales tax, you would check no's. They want to know if you've got an alcoholic beverage commission, uh, if you are licensed to sell alcoholic beverages. Well, you probably won't be. I don't know of any dealership in the state of Tennessee that sells motor vehicles and sells alcohol out of the same building. Uh, that, so you'll probably be checking no there. Uh, they want to know if you have sales uh, use tax obligation. Are your sales 100% over counter? More than likely, your sales will be 100% over counter. And they want to know if you are collecting at least $200 a month in sales tax, which you probably will be doing as well. Then you click the continue button. And on the next page here, you're just going to fill out your legal business name, your address, uh, the city, state, and zip code that your dealership is located in. It's very quick and easy to do this. It's literally going to take you five lines five minutes through the online tax registration system. So that's what they want you to be aware of. You're also going to have to prepare a financial statement, okay? Uh, this has to be prepared by a certified public accountant. Now, when you mail this in with your dealer application, everyone, the state of Tennessee wants to make sure that your financial statement is on a CPA's letterhead. So this needs to show that you have a net worth of at least $10,000. If your net worth is less than $10,000, then the state of Tennessee will not grant you your Tennessee Motor Vehicle Dealer's License. And the financial statement that we're talking about here, it has to be done within 12 months prior to the time that you're, that you're applying. So you want to make sure that that statement is less than 12 months old when you are mailing in your dealer application packet uh, down in Nashville. Also, you're going to need to register your name with the Tennessee Secretary of State's office. The Tennessee Secretary of State wants to know every single business entity that's operating within the Tennessee limits, including the dealership that you're getting ready to open. So the Tennessee Secretary of State's got a very user-friendly website that I'm going to show you here in just a second that's going to show you how to register your name. Uh, if you are an out-of-state business entity, you're also going to have to file a certificate of authority. So right there on your screen, you're going to see a link to that website. I'm going to show you how easy it is to file your secretary, your corporational documents with the Secretary of State. Once again, I'm going to show you how to file a limited liability corporation. That's not necessarily the best business entity for you. Okay, You definitely want to get sales tax advice or some legal and tax advice here uh, because there are different legal and tax uh, legal and tax ramifications for however you decide to operate your business. I'm going to show you an example with a limited liability company. Okay, the first thing you need to do here on screen here, you're going to need to select what type of business entity that you're filing uh, for this scenario. Like I said, we're going to select limited liability here. Uh, you are going to attest that everything that you enter here is true and to the best of your knowledge. So you'll click that little I attest that button. Then you're going to click continue. And we're going to start the first link here by putting our business name in here along with I'm using ABC Motors as an example. And I'm also running this as a domestic Tennessee business that's located in the state of Tennessee. So you'll click that. They're going to want to know some details here. So what I did is I filed a perpetual limited liability corporation here. So I'm not sure if that's going to be good for you or not, but that's what I filed here. Uh, then you're going to click the continued box down here at the bottom. 
and they're going to want to know your agent's information. So you're going to be putting in your your uh, address of your dealership, along with the city, zip code, and the county that your dealership lies in. So they want to know the county that your dealership lies in. So make sure and input all that information there as the agent. You're going to click the continue box, and then they're going to want the address, uh, basically a confirmation of your address there, and then you're going to confirm it. So on this page, what you're going to look at here is a conf confirmation of your limited liability corporation's address, the name, make sure that you have named it ABC Motors, you know, LLC or Nashville Motors LLC. You know, if you're an LLC, you definitely want to have LLC at the end of your business name if that is how you're filing. Once again, I recommend getting some uh, legal advice here. Uh, I put a uh, term of duration and I've got a director manage, which means I'm managing my own limited liability corporation. And down there at the bottom, you just want to confirm that that is the address. Uh, just for this example, I put the address of the state capitol here. So if you mail anything to 600 Charlotte Avenue in Nashville, it's going to go to the state capitol. But I'm going to show the mailing address for the dealer application. I'm just using this as an example. On the next page, this is basically your signature here. And what you're doing here is you're certifying that all the information that you send is true and to the best of, the knowledge, of your knowledge. So this information you're sending to the Tennessee Secretary of State is true and to the best of your knowledge. So you'll click the little I certify box there. You're going to put your name and your last name along with your contact phone number and your email address. You're going to click the continue box and you have just filed your corporational documents. Now what you can do here now, you've got to pay for it because it's not free obviously. There's one of two things you can do here. You can do it immediately online. I'm going to show you that here. Or you can jump down here and click down here, uh, this lower link here where it says view and print the domestic limited li liability corporation articles of organization form. If you want, you can print them up and mail them to Nashville. But the easy way right here is just to click continue with online payment. That way you can do this immediately. And once you do that, you're going to be taken to the secure state of Tennessee payment center. So you're going to be able to put your uh, information in there and you'll be able to pay for your LLC filings just like that. Very easy to do. It'll take you just a few minutes. The uh, Secretary of State's website is very user friendly, walks you step by step, and they're always a phone call away if you have corporational uh, questions. You're also going to be filing a zoning ordinance. The state of Tennessee wants to make sure that every single dealership that's operating within Tennessee meets all local zoning. Okay, so, so you're going to have to have written approval by your local zoning authority, whether that is your uh, office of county executive, uh, maybe it's your planning and zoning through your city. Uh, some counties do not have zoning, but most counties have some type of zoning. You also, when you send this zoning compliance statement in that will be provided by them, it clearly has to state that that location is approved for the sale of automobiles. So make sure that you've included that. You'll also need a service agreement if you are not going to repair vehicles at your own dealership's location. If your dealership is not does not have the facilities to repair motor vehicles, you'll have to have a service agreement uh, with a repair facility that is within a res reasonable distance of your dealership. And if you ever change that uh, uh, distance, I'm sorry, if you ever change that operational agreement for the service facility, with uh, you've got to notify the state within 30 days. If you're a new vehicle dealer, you're going to need a letter from your manufacturer outlining the operations of your sales. Okay. Now, one thing, everybody, uh, as you're getting in the final steps here, before you mail in your dealer application, you're going to need to obtain what we call a dealer surety bond. Now, you're required to get a dealer surety bond in the amount of $50,000. Now, guys, a dealer surety bond uh, is not going to cost you $50,000. It's going to be based on your credit score. So if you've got good credit, your dealer surety bond is going to cost you anywhere from $200 to $500 a year. If you've got a couple of blemishes on your credit score, those prices can go up substantially. But every single dealer in the state is required to get these. I'm going to show you a link where you can apply for a bond here in just a minute. Uh, you are required to get a two-year dealer surety bond. You've got to have the amount of $50,000, and you need to make sure that it expires two years. It has to be two years. Uh, so if you're gaining it on uh, May 25th, then you need to make of uh, 2015, you need to make sure that it has expired at the end of May, which would be May 31st of 2017. So it has to expire on the last day of the month, two years after you're actually applying for your license. So make sure that the dealer bond uh, is in your dealership name and the address must match your physical dealership address. Don't forget to send in your original dealer surety bond with your dealer application. They do not want copies in Nashville. They want your original. So you can get a quote right there. You'll see on screen. You can get a quote for your dealer surety bond at idealerquote.com. 
Uh, they'll be able to show, shoot it off to several bond brokers. So hopefully somebody will get back with you within 24 hours. Uh, even if you got a couple of blemishes on your credit score, there are bond brokers that, that are going to get the information and they will be able to get a bond quote back to you hopefully very quickly. Another step, guys, you must obtain what we call dealer insurance, okay? This is a real specific type of business insurance. You're not going to get it from your, your uh, progressive agent. You're not going to get log on Geico and get this. You're going to have to go through a specialized business insurance broker, okay? Uh, and this is a real specified niche business insurance. What it does, it's going to protect you when your customers are driving your demos. It's going to protect you when you are a, I'm sorry, you are an employee or driving a demo back and forth from an auction. It's going to protect you if somebody comes and breaks their leg on your lot. It's got medical coverage in it as well. The minimum that you can obtain in order to get your Tennessee dealer's license is going to be a $300,000 liability policy. You've got to keep your dealer insurance in effect the entire time that you have your Tennessee dealer's license. It's a state law. If you have a Tennessee Tennessee dealer's license, you must have Tennessee dealer insurance, okay? Even if you want five or six months, you know, without any inventory, Tennessee state law requires that you do have a dealer insurance policy the entire time that you have a dealer, uh, a dealer license in the state of Tennessee. Guys, we've also got it set up there for you to get a quick quote for your dealer insurance. We'll send this off to multiple brokers throughout Tennessee. That way we'll try and get you some competitive quotes just by filling out an on online quote there at idealerquote.com where there's a direct link there on dealertraining.org, Tennessee dealer license uh, slash Tennessee dealer license. So guys, a couple of things here also, make sure that you have a copy of your policy of your dealer insurance in your application packet, that's going to show t Nashville that you are actually insured. So make sure you got your dealer insurance uh, and you're going to get some sticker shock on it, but there are companies that will finance it for you. Go for it. Get the dealer insurance. You're going to realize the profits in this uh, industry are well worth getting the dealer insurance in advance. Your dealer license fees are right there in front of you. If you're sending in a used motor vehicle dealer license application, the fee is $400. If you're a franchisor, so if you're opening up a new Chevy dealership or a Kia dealership or Suzuki, it'll be $400. Uh, uh, same goes true with a motorcycle license. Okay, that's $400. If you're changing your name, that's $400. And if you're sending in a salesperson license, that fee is three is $35. And you can send in your fees with cash, check, or money order. Make sure and make your checks payable to the Tennessee Motor Vehicle Commission. Okay? And when you've got all the paperwork that we've talked about here today, after you mail that in, I'll show you the mailing address here in just a second, you will have a lot inspection uh, by a motor vehicle inspector. They're going to make sure uh, that you're meeting all of your lot requirements, that you've got a business building, lot sign, posted hours, making sure that you have a restroom, making sure that your lot has a minimum uh, space for the vehicles that are required, and then they will finally uh, send out your license to you. Uh, when you are mailing that license in, guys, you're going to be mailing it to the Tennessee Motor Vehicle Commission. You're going to see it right there on your screen. 500 James Robertson Parkway, 5th floor, Nashville, Tennessee. That's going to be 37243-1153. And it takes about two weeks after your lot inspection to get your final dealer license. So, guys, that's your step-by-step -step process on how to gain your Tennessee dealer's license. Tennessee's dealer's licenses can offer you a world of opportunity. There's absolutely no limit on the profit that you can make with a dealer's license in Tennessee. You just have to meet a few very simple sets of regulations and guidelines. So guys, good luck to you. I hope you go for it. And, and I really wish you the best of luck in obtaining your Tennessee dealer license.